So cardiac arrest differs from a heart attack because the heart has suddenly stopped or someone has stopped breathing. Like a heart attack, it's a medical emergency, but this is a life-threatening emergency where someone has actually died. And the question is, what can you do to maintain some circulation until they can be resuscitated and hopefully recover from that? We certainly see cardiac arrest with a heart attack, but we also see cardiac arrest without a heart attack. It could be something abnormal about the heart muscle. It could be the patient has some other problem like a low potassium level or some strenuous activity that caused the heart to stop, or they may have a history of an irregular heart rhythm problem that caused the heart to stop. But a cardiac arrest can occur with a heart attack, but it can also occur without it. Anyone can really be affected by a cardiac arrest, unfortunately. We see it in children, we see it in athletes, we see it in people with underlying heart disease, we see it in people who have had some viral infection that's gotten into the heart muscle, we see people with valvular abnormalities, irregular heartbeat abnormalities, or those having a heart attack. It's important to be aware if you have risk factors for heart disease, but unfortunately it can occur without other warnings if there's other problems that just hadn't been identified as yet. In thinking about how to identify someone in cardiac arrest, you really are just coming upon an individual or someone who's collapsed in front of you or maybe lying on the ground unresponsive. You try to wake them. If you can't, you try to look for respirations, you try to feel a pulse, and in the absence of those things, you have to assume they're in cardiac arrest and you call 911 or you ask for someone to call 911 when you begin hands-only CPR. Mm -hmm.